Hi, my name is Florence Milliken and I'm one of the professional liaison consultants in the Health and Care Professions Council. And in this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the changes in the HCPC's updated standard of proficiency on the theme of leadership. So firstly, a quick recap about the updated standard of proficiency. So the HCPC standards of proficiency have been revised and the updates come into effect on the 1st of September 2023. And the standards of proficiency are the professional standards all HCPC registrants must meet. In the updated standards, some changes apply to all of the 15 professions that we regulate, while others only apply to specific professions. And the changes have been made to enhance the current standards and reflect the reality of practicing in today's healthcare landscape. So the key changes can be grouped into five themes, equality, diversity and inclusion, further centralising the service user, registrants mental health, digital skills and new technology and leadership. And across all the changes, the wording that they use has moved away from a passive understanding of the standards and towards an active implementation of them. So what has changed on the theme of leadership? Well, the HCPC's previous standards of proficiency simply required registrants to understand the concept of leadership and its application to practice. The updated standards say that registrants must understand the qualities, behaviours and benefits of leadership, recognise that leadership is a skill all professionals can demonstrate, identify their own leadership qualities, behaviours and approaches, taking into account the importance of equality, diversity and inclusion, and demonstrate leadership behaviours appropriate to their practice. And these changes all relate to standard eight. So what does this mean for registrants? Well, registrants must firstly understand what leadership means, the qualities, behaviours and benefits of it, and then demonstrate them in their practice. So leadership will mean different things for different people. It's not just about the management or the supervision of others. It is about how we treat other people and how we impact them. And this is something that everyone and anyone can do, no matter their role or rank. It is the responsibility of individuals in established leadership roles to support those seeking to develop their leadership qualities. And ways they may do this include asking for their contributions to problems, taking risks to run with their ideas, giving them opportunities to mentor others, or prompting them to sign up to a leadership initiative or programme. So what do HCPC registrants actually need to do? From the 1st of September onwards, all HCPC registrants will need to meet the updated standards as far as they relate to their scope of practice. There is no one way to meet the standards relating to leadership, and we know that most registrants will already be showing these qualities every day. However, we recommend that registrants identify through their own reflective practice, gap analysis, discussion with colleagues or requests for feedback, the areas in which they are currently showing leadership and in which they could show more. This then can be the focus of continuing professional development activities before the 1st of September 2023. So some prompt questions for registrants might be, am I already meeting these standards easily in my current role? If I feel I can't, why not? Do I have an accurate understanding of what leadership means? And do I see myself as a leader in my current role? What is my passion? Am I taking opportunities to contribute in that area? And then for managers, am I taking time to discuss leadership opportunities with my staff? Have I identified any cultural changes I may need to make to enable my staff to take on leadership opportunities? Do I steward or stifle the initiatives that my staff suggest? Do I encourage my staff? So in summary, we've looked at what has changed on the theme of leadership in our updated standards and the steps all registrants can take to show leadership regardless of role or rank. If you're a registrant, I would now invite you to look on our website for the details of the updated standards and the support available. You can also download the gap analysis tool to develop your next steps.